Well, I'm here with Heidi and her son, Jameson. He was found guilty of committing a criminal sex act in the second degree, served five years in prison, and is now a registered sex offender and on probation. He's joining us from Syracuse, New York, via satellite. Jameson's co-worker, Fred, and his mother, Rita, are here as well. They say they believe Jameson is 100% guilty. What do you want to say? I was there when the medical examiner gave testimony, and it was very clear the way the testimony was laid out that what they found on her face was a direct relationship to Jameson. And you interpret that DNA evidence differently. Yes, And totally. how do you interpret that? The fact that it was collected two hours after the alleged attack <clears throat> and the cell itself was rotted beyond the ability to extract DNA from it. Mm -hmm. It had to be sent down to North Carolina for some special mm -hmm. test called YSTR. Uh -huh. And that particular test, um, once again, was only ran against my son. It was never checked against anybody else. <clears throat> and if it had come from my son and collected two hours after the attack, how was it rotted? Okay, well, here are the lab results. It says, quote, a, a spermatozone was identified on a dried secretion swab from her face, not detected on an oral swab, negative on the wrist protectors, fitted bed sheet, soaker pad, pillowcases, nightgown, and flat bed sheet. No apparent physiological stains of evidentiary value were observed on the blanket. The Y chromosome DNA profile obtained from the sample from the victim's face is consistent with the Y chromosome DNA profile obtained from the reference sample from Jameson Adsit. Therefore, Jameson Adsit cannot be excluded as the major source of the male DNA in this sample. So the DNA sample does not clear your son. In fact, the DNA sample says he cannot be excluded mm -hmm. as a major source. That doesn't mean there might not be others in the population that could also have contributed to it. But others in the population weren't around her. He was. How could any part of his DNA or whatever we want to call it be on her person if his pants were never down. The spermatozone, this okay. was other DNA. Could have been drool, spit, skin. The DNA that uh -huh. was, the YSTR testing was not done on the sperm, spermatozoa that was found. There, wasn't, there was only one single sperm cell found. And the DNA that they tried to, to extract <clears throat> from it they couldn't because it was so degraded that it couldn't even be pulled out.